I recently went to the coastal town of Kulungata, which is along the Gold Coast. I really enjoyed what I captured there a couple months ago. If you want to see that video, I'll probably link it above. So my plan was to head back, explore a bit more of the inland kind of suburb of Kulungata itself, rather than just the beach side. So I started off the afternoon kind of walking around aimlessly, seeing if I can find some more kind of scenes with a lot of character to them. I got pretty lucky straight away. Um, that's when I stumbled upon this smokehouse barbecue place. It obviously been shut down for a while now and was kind of um, decayed in a few areas as you could see. I was really drawn to the super rustic look of the building and the spots of overgrown green as well. And also the barbed wire fence added nicely to that rustic look. The second angle I went for was a bit of a tighter shot. It was where the fence met the building. There were so many different textures at play here and the lines of the building really sat cohesively together. Also the circle barbed wire fence kind of added a nice contrast to all the lines that were in the image. next scene I stumbled upon which seemed to catch my eye quite a lot were these three neon colored cones uh, matched with the tree that had these flowers dotted around were actually the same color as the cones weirdly enough being such different subjects I didn't really expect the colors to match like that so that's kind of what drawn me to it like I said I really like that when you see it in like street photography when it happens with someone a piece of clothing someone's wearing to maybe a cone or a, you know a bus stop sign or something like that matches up thought it plays quite well if you hadn't noticed by the photos I was shooting with the Mamiya RC67 matched with the 90mm Secor lens with some Portrait 400 as well I I find I don't normally shoot this time of day very often, but I felt it really complemented these scenes really well, adding a nice bit of contrast to them. What I was really enjoying at this point was where the buildings or the pathways were kind of seamlessly fusing with the natural elements at bay here, especially this scene where the plants were surfacing out of the concrete. It added a nice pop of color to that scene as well. At this point in the day, there were some nice clouds forming, drifting over, and yeah, creating a nice texture to these subjects. I had actually been inspired by a recent video by Willem Verbeek, where he shot this sign. I'm not sure exactly where it was, but I really loved how he composed it and kind of was looking up from that perspective. So I tried to compose a similar kind of image just from memory. I think what really worked here was the complementing colors. You had the blue, the white, the red, and the red really popped out in the middle uh, with the sign there. And yeah, just overall was a nice kind of image. Afterwards, I passed some more coastal looking scenes. Then I decided to head to a lookout point I'd previously seen on another trip to Kulingata. By this point, the clouds were really coming out in force that day and I was definitely feeling like I wasn't gonna experience much of a sunset. Normally at this point, I might wait for some softer light and be quite conservative with my shots. But considering the weather, I didn't think, like I said, we were gonna experience much of a sunset. So I thought, why not make use of the good light I was experiencing at that point and keep shooting. So shortly after, I made my way down to Kira Beach. There's another lookout point down there, which I'd previously photographed. And yeah, I thought I'd get a different perspective and go inside the lookout point instead.
I ended up capturing quite a unique scene when I was down there. There was this guy inside who was pretty well dressed and there was a seagull on the floor literally looking straight up at him and I managed to snap it pretty quickly without him noticing. I thought this was super comical, I added a bit of a story to the image. I would have preferred if the people in the back weren't there but I did like the image anyway. Afterwards I decided to head down to the beach. There was some nice golden light spreading across the rocks and it creates some nice textures. This detailed shot stood out to me from the rest of the photos I took that day. Um, it's a simple composition, but I think the different patterns of rocks really made the composition kind of interesting. I seem to always focus on the establishing shots or the wider scenes when I'm shooting with the RZ67, especially with the 90mm lens, and not really taking advantage of its short focusing distance when I'm out shooting nature. I decided to switch it up that day and shoot more of the detailed shots, especially some of the beach shrubbery. Um, there's some nice textures of green and some small details that I kind of wouldn't focus my eye on and decided to look out more for. After that I made my way further down the walkway along the beach. Like I had imagined, there wasn't much of a sunset to capture, but there were points where the sun was seeping through the clouds. And you know, I took the opportunity in those moments to take a couple more shots. This particular scene was a favorite of mine, the beautiful dust light and it covered across the scene, creating some nice pastely colored hues. I also thought it was pretty amazing how the rocks just continued seamlessly into the ocean and the detail in the clouds as well i was able to bring down the highlights a fair bit just to bring back that detail there was a point where birds were flying overhead and i quickly turned around and snapped that shot i actually enjoy how the birds are kind of in different flight motions each one there's all these different kind of silhouettes um, and the detail of the clouds as well with some nice golden light coming through I do find when you're shooting in the sky, sometimes it's hard to find the right exposure because um, it can be very bright, especially if you're going towards the sun. But yeah, sometimes it's just a bit tricky. It felt like a very successful day out exploring, that moment where you feel content with what you captured. I think the reason why was I was shooting an array of different subjects and getting those fixes of different subjects that I like to shoot. And yeah, each one was just different to the next. At the end of the day, I ended up grabbing some food, heading down towards the beach, watching the sun completely set. And yeah, just kind of enjoying the last moments of the day. I really enjoy making these types of videos going down to the beach is probably my favorite thing to do so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed it too please don't forget to like and subscribe and all that fun stuff otherwise i'll see you next week with another video I've got some momentum now so hopefully i'm going to be keeping up to these weekly uploads i guess that's all i want to say for today but yeah till next time peace